mini makers welcome to week three of mindful mini makes let's find out what we're going to do today this week is all about mandalas a mandala is a spiritual symbol seen in hinduism and buddhism and represents life being never-ending and everything being connected Mandalas have often been used for focus meditation and more recently as an art tool to de-stress. Mandalas are made up of concentric circles, which means circles inside circles. And then inside those circles, intricate patterns are then drawn inside. Traditional mandalas are created by Buddhist monks. They are beautiful and incredibly detailed that can take up to our entire day to make and sometimes more. Using dyed grains of sand, each colour meaning something different, they create stunning mandala sand paintings. Once the mandala is finished, they have a special blessing ceremony and then the painting is gently smudged by each monk. The mandala is finally swept away with a paintbrush into a special urn and poured into flowing water to symbolise the cycle of life. So today we're going to create our own mandala bicycle. Life and our universe is constantly moving. The bicycle represents freedom and life's adventures. I'm sure many of you have got a bicycle and had great fun going on lots of adventures. I chose a lovely quote as well to put on the banner with my bicycle. So perhaps have a little think of a quote or a happy saying or a personal message that you might like to say to your brush friend. Also, you might want to think about what patterns you might like to fill the wheels of your bicycle with. And we're gonna make a mandala bicycle just like this. So mini makers, let's go on an adventure. Let's get crafty. The first thing we need to do in our picture is create the bicycle taking one or two circular pots of the same size, draw around them with a distance of probably about three or four fingers in between each circle. Make sure at this stage just to use a pencil. We're going to outline it all in pen later. Once you've drawn your circles, we need to approximately find the middle. Don't worry too much, it's quite tricky finding the middle of a circle and we're only going to do it roughly. I drew a dot where I thought the middle of my circle was and then I just used my pencil just to see if I was happy with that's about the middle. As you can see from my picture, it's not actually accurate, but it doesn't matter. Do the same for the other wheel. Now we're going to start to draw the bicycle frame. We're going to start with the front of the bicycle up to the handlebars. Draw a slightly curved line from the centre of your circle, then loop round your guide where the centre of your circle is and draw a parallel line, which means a line next to another line, all the way following the same shape as the first line, and then join it up and add some handles. Add a shorter line 
from your long line to create the second handlebar. Next, using the second circle centre as a guide, draw a backward C. Then carry on that C all the way to create a big loop. This is going to form the back of your bike where your pedal usually sits. Next, draw an upside down C and then two lines coming downwards from that C. And then you're going to draw a rectangle at an angle from the bottom of there. And there you have a little pedal. Now we're going to add the mud guards to the backs of both wheels. First of all, draw a line going through the line of your circle, one at 11 o'clock and one at three o'clock. Ask an adult to help you with this if you don't know clocks. And then just simply join those lines together. Don't worry if your pencil marks are not super neat because we're gonna draw over it in pen later anyway. Repeat the same thing for the front wheel. Then simply join the bottom ends together as well. Do this for both wheels. Now to start creating where the saddle is going to be. Draw a line at an angle and then a smaller line facing upwards. Do another one parallel, so again next to it, and add another angled line. Then draw a long line all the way to where the pedal is. Do exactly the same above it. This is the back of our frame on which the saddle will sit. Draw another line from the top of the handlebar curve going downwards towards the back wheel. You don't have to do yours facing downwards, you could do yours straight across. Some bikes come with a bar that goes straight across rather than downwards. Now start drawing a saddle. Simply draw a kind of wavy line and then a C shape and carry on that curve all the way until you get something that looks a little bit like a saddle. Add some little rectangles at the front and the back of your bike as reflectors. Now our bicycle is going to have a nice little banner flag blowing in the wind with a lovely positive message. So draw a line straight upwards from where the handlebars curve is. Draw another line parallel next to it all the way down. It only has to be very thin because it's going to represent a stick. Now can you see I've drawn the stick going below the handlebars and the crossbar and then a little bow as though it's been strung onto the bike. Now in line with the stick, you're going to draw a line and the top of your stick. This is simply a little oval shape with an open bottom. Now simply draw from the bottom of your oval shape a wavy line all the way across the rest of your page. Then at the end you're going to create almost like a little triangle shape. So drawing two lines and then join that bottom line all the way back following the same curve as the top line until you get to the stick. 
and there you have your banner. It's now time to add your mandalas into your bicycle wheels. So starting off on one of your circles, you're going to draw another circle, slightly smaller, inside the outer circle. You can see looks a little bit like a tyre now. Repeat the same thing for the other wheel, making sure to jump your pencil over the top of the part of the bicycle frame that goes towards the pedal. Now we're going to add more concentric circles, circles within circles. We're going to start in the middle of our circle this time. So take your pencil to the middle of your bicycle's wheel and draw a circle. Again, remembering to jump your pencil over the frame. Now, simply repeat the same thing for the entire wheel and then do the same to the other wheel. Now to start adding our beautiful mandala pattern. You can do any patterns you like. You could do zigzags or waves or diamond shapes, circles, anything you like. I'm going to show you some ideas in my wheels, but again, you don't have to copy this exactly. Have fun creating whatever design you like within each of the concentric circles. Keep going until you're happy with your designs. Repeat the same thing for both wheels. Notice again how I've jumped my pencil over the bicycle frame because this bit of the wheel would be hidden by the frame. And there you have it, your beautiful mandala design, ready for the next step, adding your personal message or quote. Now it's time to write your happiness quote or your personal message in your banner flag. First of all, very lightly with your pencil, just draw some guidelines. These are lines that you're going to use to write your text on. Hopefully by now you should have your message or quote ready to pop into your banner or flag. If you haven't, I suggest going on the internet if you can't think of anything. Perhaps an adult could help you find a lovely happy quote that would be a really nice positive message your brush friend to receive and read. I decided to use this quote by Albert Einstein. It says, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. So I wrote the quote in the flag and I wrote who it was by 
on the back mud guard. Finally, our bicycle mandala is nearly complete. All that's left to do is outline it in a black permanent marker or felt tip pen, whatever you have to hand. Very carefully, just go over your pencil lines. Remember, you don't need to outline anywhere that you've just used as a guide, such as your guidelines for writing your text or where the frame of the bike is and the wheels overlap. Carefully outline your mandala pattern. Use a finer tipped pen, such as a biro, if you think you're going to find it difficult to draw the detail in your mandala pattern. Keep going until you've completed your whole bike. Finally, outline your text. And now all that's left to do is rub out your pencil marks. Just make sure that your pen is dry because you don't want to smudge your beautiful artwork. And there you have it, your meditative mandala bicycle, ready to give to your brush friend to paint or colour in.